One such is midday meal. So, Tamil Nadu was the first state to launch this scheme in 2001 and this scheme has not only resulted in increased attendance but also has helped in reducing prejudices. Why? What is midday meal scheme? In government schools, the afternoon meal is being provided for free. This has served two purposes. The kids who used to go to home to eat their meal did not return back. So that means post lunch the attendance was really short. And second, when everybody is sitting together and eating, prejudices have also come to an end. So this is a picture of a government school and a private school. Look how a government school looks like. It's like an open building. The infrastructure is really poor. And this is a private school, but over here you can see there are even air conditions installed. With this picture, you can understand that what is the difference between these two types of schools. Responsibility of citizens. Even when we know that discrimination is against law, but we continue to do so because change of attitude is something that happens in a longer run. My forefathers could have practiced untouchability. I have no idea about that. But I think so because earlier these things were really important. This was a matter to the people that to whom to which caste it belongs to or to which religion he or she belongs to or whatever. There were several sorts of discrimination that used to happen. Now with the change of the time and with the change of one generation to another generation things have sorted but not completely even till today people of my generation, people of your generation, sometimes we also practice some such things which we shouldn't. Knowing the fact that these things are an offense, it is not good thing to do, but still we do. Issues of inequalities in other democracies. Till now we have talked about India, till now we have talked about all the things that relates to India. But Inequality is not something that has existed just in India, in several other countries also. We talk about one famous lady, her name was Rosa Parks and she by nationality she was an Afro-American and what happened once she was traveling in a bus and she was sitting on the front seats, a white man came and asked Rosa that since you are black, you are an Afro-American, you cannot sit on the front seat so you have to get up, go at the back and I will own the seat. And Rosa Park refused and then there was a good scene that created and that finally gave birth to the civil rights movement. Civil Rights Act of 1964 which prohibits discrimination on the basis of race, religion or national origin. National origin means a country to which that person belongs. The last topic that we are going to discuss is challenge of democracy. There are always communities and individuals trying to expand the idea of democracy and push for a greater recognition on equality on existing as well as new issues. So, you know, um, if I have sorted one issue, that does not mean that now the problem is sorted. Every time there are new issues that are coming up, every time there is a new problem for which the solution has to be found out. And that's the reason that democracy always have one or the new challenge standing in front of it. Sometimes it can be in terms of just sex inequalities. Sometimes it can be just in terms of the gender equalities. It could be anything. We as the educated people have now the responsibility on our shoulders to make sure that wherever we see some such sort of inequalities being practiced, we should stop, we should raise our voice. Next time when you see something wrong happening to some other, do not think for a second because that's the movement where you can show yourself, you can represent yourself as the responsible citizen of the country. Thank you.